Hey guys, welcome back to our channel The Desi Odyssey. So today we take you with us on a 3-day trip to the vibrant cities of Montreal and Quebec City. So stay tuned with us as we give you a detailed itinerary of our plan, our budgeting and all the places that you can see in a short 3-day trip. We took a flight from Toronto to Montreal. You can get the best budget flights using Skyscanner and the prices for everything we will let you know at the end of the video. We kicked off our adventure by visiting the iconic Saint Basilica, a breathtaking masterpiece of Gothic Revival architecture. The moment we stepped inside, we were captivated by the stunning stained glass windows and the peaceful ambience. It was truly a spiritual experience. Trying new food is the best part of traveling to new places. After the visit, we were eager to try one of Canada's most famous dishes, the poutine. Trust me when I say it was worth every single calorie. Next, we decided to take in the city's panoramic views from a unique perspective, a Ferris wheel ride. Located in the heart of Montreal, the Ferris wheel provided us with a bird's eye view of the city skyline, including the beautiful St. Lawrence River. The breathtaking scenery left us in awe and we couldn't resist capturing some amazing shots for our Instagram. It was time to eat again. We were on a budget, so we went to Chinatown in downtown Montreal. The food was surprisingly cheap and super delicious. For all you budget travelers, this one is for you. Next day, we packed our bags and headed to Quebec City. We took a day tour bus which picked us up from downtown Montreal early in the morning. Our first step was the Montmorency Falls just at the edge of Quebec City. It is the tallest waterfall in North America and we took a gondola ride to the top of the falls. It was mesmerizing and terrifying at the same time. The view was breathtaking. We entered Quebec City on the delightful ferry taking us deeper into the St. Lawrence River while we were greeted by the magnificent sight of Quebec City's skyline. The ferry ride not only allowed us to appreciate the beauty of Quebec City, but also offered her a moment of relaxation and tranquility. We found ourselves completely immersed in the serenity of the river, taking in the peaceful atmosphere and the rhythmic sound of the water. As we moved into the enchanting old Quebec, we felt like we stepped back in time. Its narrow streets, lined with colorful buildings and quaint shops, exuded an irresistible charm. We strolled through the cobblestone streets, admiring the charming architecture and vibrant atmosphere. The historic landmarks such as the magnificent chateau created a fairy tale-like ambiance that made us fall in love with the city instantly. Last day in Montreal, we decided to explore the city a little bit more. We located an old and exquisite poutine shop where we had the best breakfast poutine ever. It was also very budget friendly, so we would highly recommend visiting this shop. After that, we headed to the famous Biodome in Montreal. 
The biodome is home to multiple ecosystems under one roof. The moment we entered, we were greeted by the immersive and breathtaking atmosphere. It was like stepping into different corners of the world all at once. From the tropical rainforest which transported us to the Amazon with a lush and humid environment filled with towering trees, colorful birds and exotic plants to the sub-Atlantic islands and icy realm where we encountered adorable penguins waddling about, oblivious to our presence. Our trip to the biodome was not only educational but also is inspiring. We left with a great appreciation for the wonders of nature and the importance of preserving our planet's biodiversity. As our three-day adventure comes to an end, we reflected on the incredible experiences we had in both Montreal and Quebec City. From the awe-inspiring architectures to the mouth-watering culinary delights, this trip was truly unforgettable. Now let's talk about the travel expenses for this 3-day trip. Our flights from Toronto to Montreal and back cost us $330 per person. Airbnbs will cost approximately $60 to $70 per day. Hotels may be a bit more expensive. The transportation within Montreal and Quebec City including cabs, bus tariff to Quebec City cost around $180 per person. We also took weekend passes which allowed us to travel within the cities at a very reasonable cost. One weekend pass costs around $15 per person. It allows you to travel on all modes of public transport during the weekends. This pass can be brought from the Montreal airport on arrival. The tourist activities such as taking the Ferris wheel, visiting the Biodome, the Basilica and the ferry cost us around $180 per person. Since we are on a budget, we spent only $80 to $90 per person on food. We ate from food trucks and small cafes to save our expenses. This expense may vary from person to person based on your preferences. All other miscellaneous expenses such as buying souvenirs etc. cost us around $50. So the total expense per person for this trip was around $900 to $1,000 per person, which we think is quite reasonable for a 3-day budget vacation to Montreal and Quebec City. Of course, if you want to have a more luxurious and indulgent trip, you can definitely spend a lot more as the cities have much more to offer. Thank you all for joining us on this incredible journey through Montreal and Quebec City. If in any way this video has been helpful to you in planning your trip to Montreal, do let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel The Desi Odyssey for more such content. Until next time, goodbye!